हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टू डिफरेंट टर्म दिस इज प्लाज्मोलिसिस एंड डी प्लाज्मोलिसिस व्हाट इज अबाउट प्लाज्मोलिसिस व्हेन द पर्टिकुलर काइंड्स ऑफ प्लांट सेल्स कैन बी प्लेस्ड इनटू द पर्टिकुलर हाइपरटोनिक मीडिया व्हाट इज अबाउट हाइपरटोनिक मीडिया हाइपरटोनिक मीडिया दिस इज द काइंड्स ऑफ सॉल्यूशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ मैक्सिमम आर मोर कंसंट्रेशन एज कंपेयर टू द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ सेल टाइप ओके when this kinds of cell can be placed inside the particular hypertonic media then what will occur the water molecules mainly present inside the cytoplasm of the particular cells can be moves from the inside towards the outside direction then what will occur the kinds of cytoplasm of the placed plant cells that can be shrinked itself and locate itself into as one location are at what corner okay so this kinds of shrinkage of cytoplasm are phenomena of shrinkage of cytoplasm due to the placing into the particular kinds of cell into the hypertonic media this phenomena this is known as plasmolysis and this kinds of cells this is considered as a plasmolyzed cells next one is this kinds of plasmolyzed cell can be placed into the particular kinds of media this is hypertonic media and what will what will occur in case of this one first of all we have to discuss about what is hypertonic media hypertonic media this is a kinds of solution which is consist of less concentration as compared to the concentration of cell type then what will occur in case of this condition the kinds of water molecules mainly present in case of hypertonic media that can be moved towards the inside direction of the particular cells means this water molecules can be moved from this direction to this direction and the particular concentration of the particular volume of the cytoplasm can be increased due to the movement of water molecule inside the particular uh, cells or plant cells then in case of this process the particular kinds of cytoplasm that has been already shrinked up during the plasmoly plasmolysis then it can expand during the particular kinds of phenomena this is known as deplasmolysis okay and this kinds of cells considered as a deplasmolyzed cells okay so this is the kinds of two kinds of phenomena this is plasmolysis and deplasmolysis during the plasmolysis what will occur the cytoplasm of the particular cells can be shrinked up conditions and that can be present at one corner this is known as plasmolysis and this kinds of cells this is plasmolyzed cell and what is about deplasmolysis due to the process of deplasmolysis the particular kinds of cytoplasm of the particular uh, cells that can be expand itself and this kinds of phenomena this is known as deplasmolysis and particular cells this is known as deplasmolyzed cells and plasmolysis mainly occurs in the hypertonic media and de deplasmolysis mainly occurs in case of hypotonic media next one is we have to discuss about next topic this is the application of the particular kinds of plasmolysis first application the salting of the meat and pickles is a method of killing of the bacteria or germs so when uh, we have to observe the particular kinds of germs or bacteria present in the eatable materials like a meat and pickles then we have to um, we have to place some kinds of salt inside that kinds of materials so after placing the salt materials are salt then what will occur the water molecules present inside the bacterial cells are germs that can be eliminate uh, from their bodies and due to the elimination of particular water molecules that kinds of bacteria and germs will be in dead conditions so that eatable material can be free of bacteria and germs next one is high concentration of sugar in jam and jelly are different kinds of drinks also due to the high concentration of sugar the particular kinds of bacteria are different kinds of germs that is present uh, they can uh, be dead condition due to the water loss condition or due to the dehydration condition next one is the fish and meat uh, fish meat and vegetables dry up first then salted to prevent the spoilage means this is the same phenomena we have discussed above conditions so these are the kinds of application we have to follow in case of particular plasmolysis phenomena so we have completely discussed about the application of uh, plasmolysis or application of deep plasmolysis and concept of plasmolysis and concept of deep plasmolysis and what kinds of uh, media or solution we have to used in case of particular plasmolyzed condition and deep plasmolyzed condition uh, so we have completely discussed both kinds of term here completely so thank you